Hey guys, welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. Uh, today we're not going to be flying to the moon or the moon, however you say it. Uh, instead, we're going to be flying to the sun. Yes, I realized that playing while playing that there were only two destinations to fly from from Kerbal, and that was either the moon or the sun. Let's uh, let's stop all the small talk and go straight into the editor. Okay, so this is the uh, the uh, spacecraft editor. So we want to start off with a module. This is uh, where the pilot sits and all that kind of thing, where it commands the craft from. And we've got uh, all the basics. This is the craft, of course. And the propulsion systems, you've got controls, and you've got structural stuff, uh, aerodynamics. Aero aerodynamics, yes, right. Uh, utility, and you can't do science in the demo, so I don't really know what that is either, so yay. Okay, let's start off with a fuel tank. Nope, we don't want to start with a fuel tank. We want to get a decoupler. Yes, good one. First off, decoupler. So we can, when we come back, which we won't, but you know, it's just for good practice. Okay, we've got a fuel tank. Okay, what do we have now? Uh, we want to have this, yes, the advanced SAS module. This will help us to um, stabilize, uh, automatically stabilize the ship when we're flying through space. Space! Okay, and what else do we want? We want a solid one of these fuel tanks. They um, add fuel to these thruster, pa um, thruster packs or blocks or whatever, which you keep on the side of the ship to help maneuver and keep stable, that kind of thing. Um, you can also have, where are they? Also, do you also use these. They're, they're, um, they're also like little mini fuel tanks if I this up to here. You can have them as, as many as you like along the body of the field of the fuselage or the rocket, however you want to say it. Whatever it is, I don't really know. Okay, um what do we want next? Do we want another decoupler just for the hell just for the hell of it? No, because then we won't be able to land. You know, we're not actually gonna land on the sun, although maybe you could land on the sun if you go at night. <laughs> okay, um okay now we want a little rocket. Oh, oh, get on. Uh, this is all just general. This is all pretty standard setup that you want. Okay, where are the stairs? Okay, here are the stairs for the exterior. Uh, you can put them on this small decoupler, it doesn't really matter. Oh, if I zoom in, how do I zoom in? Ah, here we go. Okay, so I think we've got enough <laughs> ladders for now. Okay, so if we want to, if we were going to land on the, on the, if we were going to just say in theory, going to land on the sun, we'd want uh, some down steps. These are essentially like whoop, these ladders uh, extend out because if you see, where's the decoupler? Decoupler here, you can't. Where are, I always forget where things are. There, you can't put steps on a a couple of otherwise just go through so yeah these go extend out and down so you can get off the spacecraft if you ever want to I don't know why you wouldn't it's a beautiful ship okay so now we just put legs no we don't ah there we go yes that seems to be okay oh I forgot to put a parachute on the top so we can glide into the Sun <laughs> go down very gently and then burn up into a million pieces okay um what do we want next I think we want some of these burners not, not burners fuel tanks um, this is a small and large and then a tiny 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 little engine that's that one there this one this one and this one okay the difference between all of them is that the that. The big one is for thrust, the little one, the uh, medium one is more for maneuvering, even though it has higher thrust, and this one is just basically for maneuvering. You can almost have no thrust out of it, well, it gives you a little bit of thrust, but you know, it's tiny in, compar in comparison. Okay, we'll bring the, whoop, bit of lag. Bring the whole thing up a little bit. I'm getting a nice ton of lag. Okay, now we want to put one of these more maneuver maneuvering thrusters. Um, well, like medium maneuvering, you know. And another decoupler. And a big ass tank. 
Uh, need to bring it up a little more. Two big ass tanks, a big fuel engine, and that's the, gonna be the main body. This is the, generally what I do when it comes to building the spacecraft itself. Alright. Okay, now that we're done with the main fuselage, well for now at least, we're going to have to add some atmospheric thruster burners. Now, at the moment, if I just put this here, it'd just be one-sided. I mean, you could with this angle snap thing, Moby. I like having that on anyway. But if I wanted to make make myself my life a bit quicker and easier, I'll just put this on, which is all four or three-sided. Maybe I should do two-sided because I'm going to be angling a bit. So if I put two on, then it lines them up and snaps the snaps two radial uh, decouplers on both sides. Now all I need to do is attach two. And I did all. Okay, now all I need to do it is. Okay, now all I need to do is attach one of these to the side. Although this is really hard for some reason. It's way harder than it should be. There we go. They finally snap. And so I'm gonna put a couple more of these on the side. And to make it a little bit more aerodynamic, aerodynamic, aerodynamic. There we go. All right, dig then. And what else should we put on it? Maybe one of these smaller ones, and a, one of these big thruster burners down the bottom. Okay, now this will tend to wobble quite a bit. So what we want to do is get one of these. These are strut connectors. They will detach when we go to another stage, and they, you'll see. Okay, so those are attached to the main fuselage, and goes there. Okay, I think, I think we're done now. We don't need all that much power, we just need to get out of the atmosphere and aim towards the sun. We don't need all that much fuel when it comes to actually getting to the sun, because you just gotta go against the, um, the Earth's rotation, and then it just fall directly towards the sun. Shouldn't be too difficult, I don't think. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Okay, anyway, what should we add next? Just to finish up. Okay, first, it's just good practice to put these on. These are uh, stability enhancers. They're like, they let go once you've, once you launch. That's not bad. That's not... There you go. Is this all good? Yeah, it's all good. Okay, uh, we need to put these thrusters on the side. Put those there. Okay, we need to, finally, we need to put these, um, what are they called? And I'll just, like, thrust the fuel packs. Go four. Okay. There. There. And there. There we go. We should have enough fuel to get to the sun. <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna go. It might go up and puff of smoke. If you wanna have a look, these are just, uh, winglets you can add to the side to add stability if you don't have a very powerful rocket, then you need these to just, you know, keep you straight. Actually, it's good practice to have them anyway, if you're a novice and don't really know what you're doing. That's what I had to do. Had to do. And that's about it. Let's give this guy a go. Uh, a name. What should we call it? Hmm. How about... Dave. Yes! Yes. Okay. Dave. It is then. Okay, we're launching at night. Who's gonna be? Oh, it's Jebediah! Yay, he survived somehow. Maybe it's his brother, who has the same name as him. That's not weird at all. So, let's do this in five, four, three, two, zero, and release. Hello? Yeah, I don't think we have enough power. Okay, so I th think I fixed the problem. I'd like to introduce you to the solid fuel thrusters. They, um, they don't, uh, have any control over their thrust. They just keep on firing until they're all out. And they tend to overheat quite a bit. So, um, let's bring the power up. Even though there's no point, because he will just fire at full burst anyway. Let's try this. Oh! Ugh. Oh! Haha! 
Okay, I think my failing point last time was um, having too much uh, <laughs> too much weight on the bottom. Okay, we've got a new pilot now. His name is Bill Kerman. I think he was Jebediah's brother, so he wants to finish the mission. His brother didn't. <laughs> let's go for this. Uh, I'm not going to do a countdown. Wait. All right, let's just fire. Activate these. It's holding together well. Am I losing speed? Yes. Screw it then. Have I lost all speed? Yes. Am I slowly falling to my death? Probably. And... We're falling back to our deaths. Go out with style, Bill. Okay, we're now uh, horizontal. This is going to go very well, I feel. Goodbye, Bill Kerman. You will be remembered! What was his name again? Alright, I think I know where I went wrong last time. I didn't have enough power. <laughs> okay, uh, okay. Let's do a night launch in three, two, one. Good luck, Alan. Holy balls. Goodbye, Alan. <laughs>